In the foothills of Mount Fuji, a festival to the gods of the mountain. We're trying to calm the fires of Mount Fuji, you know, to stop it erupting. But the flames are burning faster now here in the town of Fujiyoshida. After three centuries of silence, scientists say Mount Fuji could be heating up once again. There are lots of examples where volcanoes have erupted after a nearby magnitude 9 earthquake. That's what happened after the Kamchatka, Chile and Sumatra quakes. So there's an increased chance of an eruption at a Japanese volcano like Mount Fuji since the earthquake last year. 300 years ago, ash spread over what's now Tokyo for two weeks. And the government thinks it could happen again. Ash spreads from Fuji on Japan's prevailing winds. Heavy drifts then cover airports and block access by rail or road. Official estimates say the cost to Japan alone could reach $32 billion. If you add in the time it takes to clean up the ash from airports, then planes won't be able to take off or land for more than a month. But so far little has been done to prepare, and experts say the costs could be many times higher than predicted. The government should prepare for a logistical nightmare. It's not done anything on that yet. They'll have to know how many millions of people, including tourists, they'll need to evacuate from around Fuji. They keep on saying they'll do something about that, but so far the country's failed to get its act together. That doesn't stop thousands of tourists from ascending the slopes every day during the summer months. Last year, about 40 million visited the Fuji area. But that means the government has a narrow path to walk when it comes to preparation for an eruption. Do too much, and the panic could send this tourist cash elsewhere. Do too little, and the cost could be human.